Howdy y'all, it's Aaron here. I hope you are doing well. Ever wish there was a way to avoid major mistakes in your clothing store? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through the biggest mistakes I've seen talking to hundreds of clothing stores. As always, make sure that you grab something to take notes with and stick around until the end where I'll be sharing with you not only how to avoid those mistakes, but what to do instead. All right, let's jump into it. All right, so number one is drop shipping. Now, there are a lot of advantages to drop shipping, especially if you're just starting out. And if you have to do this to get the business started, then by all means, start there. But as soon as you make enough money to find an alternative, switch. So whether it is making relationships with manufacturers or coming up to market to buy, both are good options and better options than drop shipping. And cool, if you could come to the Dallas area, we go to the market a lot as well. It's right down the street, so love to see you there. So why is this a mistake? I think we could honestly do a whole video on this, on like the biggest mistakes and why you shouldn't be doing dropshipping. But the quick and easy version is that dropshipping cuts out one of the biggest pieces of the pie possible. Shipping and return is what keeps customers coming back again and again. It's the experience they need to continue to choose you over the competition. Imagine being able to add your own special touch to a new customer package and ship it out the same or next day. Much better than a typical three to nine day shipping window dropshipping. Even those that are based in the US still have a longer lag time or windows to actually send something out and they probably don't care about your customer. They do not. They, they do not care about your customer more than you do. Your customer experience needs to be planned out with detail, making your customer feel special. And the less control you have over something like that decreases the likelihood of them coming back. So don't do it or get out of it as soon as possible. All right, before we cover number two, I just wanted to say howdy. My name is Aaron. I'm one of the co-founders here at Bitbranding, and we are an e-commerce growth agency that specializes in helping clothing stores grow and scale profitably online. Now, make sure you do yourself a huge favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of the latest strategies for clothing stores. We drop new content for you every single week week. All right, so number two is stock images. The choice to use stock images is honestly one of the most common mistakes that I see. Your imagery is your store. No matter what anyone says about your store, structure, the speed, etc., nothing pushes a customer over their edge to actually purchase more than imagery. You may be thinking taking your own photos takes a lot of time or that hiring a photographer may be expensive if you don't do it yourself, but I'm telling you that using stock photos will only get you so far. Sure, you could get to an even $5,000 a month, maybe even a $10,000 a month, but you're going to work harder to get there. And what the vast majority who are trying to make it this, their full-time career, their next job that are all in, those people can't live off of that type of top line revenue because you may make $10,000, but at the end of the day, you may take home $1,000 right? Because there's a lot of expenses and overhead and product and shipping and returns. There's a lot of things that go into it. You're really limiting yourself. Now, one reason why stock images won't work is because if you create great content on social and send them to a site that looks like either a drop shipping site or a stock image site, they are less likely to convert. But what I see even more is that this is stock images or videos to a stock image or website, which is general and builds no brand because it is the same ads that everyone else is running or copying to the same exact type of website. It is not better to be better, different is better. We have a photo and video lookbook that helps people take better photos and videos if you want to grab that. Do yourself a favor, just comment the word lookbook, lookbook below and we'll send it over to you in the comment section down below. All right, so number three is return policy. This one is easy and often overlooked. You're turning more people away with your return policy that never purchased then you ever will have people return. In short, right, what this, what this means is that your return policy is turning away way more customers than the people that, is, that are purchasing currently, right? Because that is how people make a purchasing decision. We'll, we'll talk about that here in a second, but you are turning away a ton of people with your return policy. On average, less than 5% of customers ever make a return, but the resistance to buy with a strict return policy is even higher. My suggestion here is to look at Amazon and get as close as you can to their return policy. Free returns, no matter what, is something you can add to product descriptions and to your website that will instantly put customers at peace. And speaking of peace, it gives us a lot of peace knowing that y'all like watching our videos and the best way to do that is to smash that like button. We truly appreciate it and so does YouTube. Just for doing that, I'll show you a picture of a baby giraffe. All right, so number four, huge one here, low AOV, your average order value is what ensures you make profit in your business and you would be surprised how many people do not know this number or disregard it. They look at their total sales and total traffic 
AOV is typically third on that list, but they don't understand that this is the lever, right? This is the lever within the business to scale. The higher the AOV, the average order value, no matter the traffic, the more profit per customer, which gives you leverage for long-term sustainable growth. So the question is, how do you increase AOV? How do you increase that number? You build your site in such a way that your items complement each other. It really goes back to the way you buy your products, but as long as you can still line them up and put similar products together in a collection, they will do better. Find ways for potential customers to purchase a whole outfit together versus one-off items. Your product description page is a huge opportunity to suggest products from the current collection and the style clothes that go together. The two tools we suggest are OCU by Zipify, so one-click upsell by Zipify, and Vanga AI. One is great for uh, those who like a little bit more control and a little more time, have a little bit more time to do it. The others for those who are in fast fashion and cannot change things out every single day. Both have an upsell opportunity. Zipify's product has a pre-sell, an upsell, a downsell, post-sell, and a cross-sell option. Either one of these are a great choice to go with to help you increase the average order value. But what's great about Venga AI is it will artificially update based off of like user experience of similar people on your site. I really don't know how that works exactly, but it's just basically smart technology recommending other products to your customers as they're about to check out um, or post purchase. But one thing you must have in place when understanding these numbers is which pieces of the content drove the best traffic to the site to generate the most revenue. If you use Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Google Ads to drive traffic to your store, then you need to check out TripleWell. It's software we're using right now for all of our clients and group coaching members. It's been a game changer to see which ads to spend more money on that resulted in higher revenue versus the ones the ad platform has said had had more sales. So the platform may say, that this ad had more sales, but what really happened within Triple Well is that a different ad had more sales. We need to scale this one over here versus that one. If you wanna learn more about Triple Well, you can check out the link in the description down below. There's a lot more information, go check them out. I believe there's even a discount for you being an amazing watcher. All right, so number five is bad product descriptions. You'd be surprised how many websites I go to that product descriptions are the info on the material of that garment. Yes, we absolutely wanna know this, but that is the bare minimum. Like that is absolutely the minimum. But before we go any further and I show you some examples of great product descriptions that you can mimic for your business, I wanted to tell you about our free masterclass training for clothing stores just like you that will walk you through the five pillars that you must have in place for your online store to scale consistently and profitably no matter what is going on in the world. To get access to this free training, make sure you check out the link in the description down below. All right, let's jump into some examples of great product descriptions to help you stand out against the competition and push your customer over the edge to make a purchase from you. All right, so number one that we have on here is free people. Most people watching this video are aware of free people. Very large line, has a bunch of brick and mortar locations and an online store as well. We can probably choose on any one of these products and have a good product description. But what I love here, let's point out a couple of things. All right, so multiple options here uh, as far as color scheme. They also have been doing uh, Afterpay and similar ones for the payment options. So if you have not been in our world too much, what's crazy is the buy now, pay later options have become extremely popular amongst, amongst Gen Z and trending over to a millennial market and even an older demographic because those are the people right now are trying to figure out how do I make enough money slash also get the clothes or the items that I want, specifically the clothes for what we're talking about here. So that's one thing right here is great reviews, price point, that's, that's one thing, right? we're shopping my price by a little bit but great reviews a great way for you to pay uh, less up front tons of options that's good they have a size guide uh, which size fits me this is a really cool option here you can put in your height so right whether you're 6'2 5'4 you can put that in there it's a really cool app to do big things here add to the wish list that's minor but free shipping on US orders not everybody will be able to do free shipping on US orders but you could right over a certain price point especially if it's $98 uh, free in-store pickup this is one of those ones where right you may not be able to have it but what else could we have here as well um, there could be something like I said that the free shipping it could be like you know the quality of material custom care it could be sustainability whatever it is I like the icons here it really catches people at attention all right details all right so this is perfectly pleated these timeless trousers are featured in mid-rise slouchy silhouette with exaggerated pleating at the top for added shape. So 
They do an okay job of a product description. I'd love to do a use case scenario. So where would you wear these, right? The, these are great for, you know, brunch. These are great for a night out. These are, you know, whatever that may be. I'd like to have some examples. They do break off some benefits here. So zip fly with hook closure, belt loops at the waist, notched back waistband. So all of these things may be very important for the women who are doing it and buying it. Karen import. This is very cool because a lot of people want to know, like, do I have to spend more time on this particular product to, or this particular item to like wash it? No, machine wash, cold, no problem. Hips, 46 six, waist 30, rise in seam. So measurement size for a size six, I'm guessing they didn't tell me much detail, but I'm guessing this girl is wearing a size six to go off of. Content material, and then what we talked about earlier, right? Shipping, here you go. US standard shipping over $100, free, five to eight days. Standard shipping, $7.95, five to eight days. US Express, two to three days. So one thing that's interesting though for free people is like, I'm not really excited about this price point for free. I mean, five to eight days, so sure, I'll wait that. But if it's $7.95, I'd like to have this in three to five days, and then the Express you know, two to three days and then the one to two days like overnight. So something to be thinking about there for your shipping on about how you can even beat out a free people. And then return policy, if received within 30 days from delivery, original form of payment, return received after 30 days, a gift card. So great return policy, right? You feel like you can actually get the product and if it doesn't work out for you, you can get a gift card because you probably love the brand or at least get them to come back. And within 30 days, you get a full refund. So very cool. Check those out. Um, US returns, looks like mail you received. After returns, we'll charge a $5.95 return fee. So there is a fee there. Um, if you're a smaller brand, if you can, right? I'm not telling free people what to do, but a smaller brand, do the free returns because more people will take a shot on you. Free people is a large brand, so they're probably gonna take a shot on them anyway because you know friends are wearing it, they talk about it, they're spending millions of dollars a year on advertising, they're all over the place. Different story, um, but for you to have a competitive advantage, just do the free returns. You'll be surprised, right? We talked about that earlier. The margins are very low uh, as far as the percentage of people who are gonna actually return, right? 5% of people or less are gonna return. All right, let's go to this next one here is PacSun, large brand, point out a couple of different things here. Um, I love here, right, the, about the brand. Looking for the best collection of nature-inspired and positive message clothing? Shop Hello Daisy at PacSun. Enjoy free shipping over orders of $50. So what's cool is, right, we get a little, a little bit more about the brand. So it's cool as far as, like, the quality of the material. But I love that we get to learn more about the brand there. Free shipping and uh, shipping on your entire order with any swim jeans. This looks like it's a copy and over from any type of regular shipping and return information, free returns in store, free online returns for kids, jeans, or pants within 30 days of purchase, some restrictions apply. So again, return policy, not the greatest. They're, la they're a big brand, so you can't go inside of their location. Um, so what do you do to beat those who you who have an online store or an in-person store and you do not have that. One thing that I point out here that a lot of brands do not do, some are starting to pick it up, is model is wearing a small. The model is 5'8". See, I would have never guessed this. Literally, this girl looks like she's 5'5", five, 5'4". Five, five, this is 5'8", she's 29, bust 23, waist 33. Like all of this stuff is very, very important if you're gonna buy this shirt. Let's see the product, it says Paxson exclusive. Keep cute and cozy this season by rocking the collegiate crew neck sweatshirt from Hello Daisy. This Comfy puller features long sleeve, the crew neck line, a custom graphic on the front, and ribbed trimming. Again, I love to see a use case scenario here to kind of stand out a little bit, but great product photography, great product description, and then also back here to the after pay this is pretty much on every site that you see now all right so this one right here is fashion nova a lot of people are familiar with the fashion nova women's side so we're going to talk a little bit on the men's side one thing for them though is right the the product descriptions are lower but as you can see here i'm guessing most people who are watching this video cannot compete with an 8.99 t-shirt and you should not have to the point here is that they're still doing after pay right so four payments of two dollars and 24 cents even more expensive things on here are still like 17 18 dollars you can still break them up into four pay options their whole play is really quick turnarounds and really low price point for people to make those purchases get it by tomorrow with rush shipping right that's a really really cool option within if you order within three hours and one minute that's that's stealing some stuff from amazon free shipping over 75 dollars. So if you spend 75 dollars with this company and then you want express shipping right you can get 75 dollars worth of clothing which you know from this brand is a lot and you can get it with it by tomorrow like that's 
an advantage, right? If I'm looking for something and I need it, I will definitely be checking that out. Product details, right? It's a V-neck. It's just a regular white shirt. Color, different color options. Look like it's just black and white. They got a couple of different models wearing things here. I think they said the disclaimers that the female's wearing a size medium. Regular V-neck t-shirt, straight, simple. Used to be $13, now nine. Doing a little bit of uh, you know scarcity there. See similar styles, I like this, right? So we can click over here in a shop similar. There we go, pulls up, and then we can look at other t-shirts that are white t-shirts that they're showing us as well to kind of add to our cart. Very cool option. We don't see a ton of product descriptions as far as like, I have no clue if this guy is six foot or if he's 5'10 or anything like that, but for the most part, right, you just click the size chart here and you can say, hey, this is kind of who I am, my size, and this is the size that I should purchase. So looking at this product description, I'm looking at, okay, what are the main things to push people over the edge? And it's not only the price point, it's the afterpay, it's the free shipping uh, over a certain amount, but it's also the time right here. I think the biggest thing here is within three hours, if I purchase, I can get this tomorrow. Very, very cool. All right, so now that you know the biggest mistakes to avoid and what to do instead, you'll likely wanna learn more about how to grow your clothing store with paid traffic. So make sure you go check out this video right here next. All right, y'all, that is it for this video. Hope you have a great rest of your day.